Hey, how are you? So today I was running a bit late. I needed to go vote. And so I took 15 minutes out of my schedule and I decided to go vote and then do the 15 minutes while I'm here, sitting here in the car. So what I decided I would cover this morning is the Great Day Protocol. Now, I have never done the Great Day Protocol until January 1st of this year, and I've been in Young Living for 10 years. Be, well, nine years and a little. So I've never done that before, and I can give you the number one reason why. And any of you who have ever watched me long term with Young Living know it's because there is an oil called Joy. It has never been a favorite of mine. And if you don't understand the reasoning behind something, uh, know that typically the oil that you do not like the smell of is the oil that your body needs most. Upon smelling that, your body begins to detox immediately what you're trying to, to hold on to, which is really what you need to get rid of, and you have an adverse reaction. Now, if you don't believe that, start going through your oils and then start looking at the emotions behind that and see if that doesn't ring true. So, the Great Day Protocol consists of four oils. This was formulated by Gary Young multiple years ago. So, the first one is White Angelica. So, White Angelica, this, when you put this on, this oil is specifically mean, meant to repel negativity. Okay. So how many of you know that we're really energetic beings? We are, we're energetic beings. And we actually, regardless of what new age or hippie talk you've been listening to, it, the, your, your true medical, Western medical, logical sense will still needs to recognize that we have an energetic aura. Yes, you heard that, A-U-R-A, -A, and God invented that, created that, uh, that surrounds us. And it is true that, that when you, how can I say that? When you have a negative aura, negative things happen to you. When you have a positive aura, positive things happen to you. That is a, that is a proven fact through quantum physics, very scientific. And there is a book called Law of Attraction. If you need to read that, it is absolutely true. But I can give you scripture for it. Job says, that which I have greatly feared has come upon me. He was fearing something, fearing, 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 fearing. And that very thing happened. What happened is that the fear opened the door for the enemy to work negatively in the way that you absolutely 100% did not want the enemy to work. And so... Why do we need to have faith? It works exactly the same way. Have faith for something and you continue to pull that towards you, okay? And, and, there's a, and, and, and you're at rest when you trust that with the Lord versus being in fear where you're in torment, okay? So, what Angelica, you're supposed to have a drop you rub it together and you surround your aura. That looks kind of weird, but you're going to need to go over your head like this. I specifically go over my throat and my heart, but I paint as if, visualize, okay, little Cinderella here, that you have fabric in your hand and that you are covering yourself just like with the armor of God. You go off your fingers. I literally paint that dress to go down my front, down the sides, and down my back from the top of my head till it hits the floor. Mm -hmm. True story. Yeah, I do. I do do that. All right. And the next oil is Harmony. Okay. So Harmony, you're going to place above your belly button. Put a drop above your belly button. Why? Because your, the, your core of your very being is in the center, which is where your belly button is. Then we're going to have joy. Okay, I'm here to report that joy, a drop of joy on your heart. I am not like having an adverse reaction to this. <gasps> Why? Because I've used it now for um, seven weeks. Seven weeks. And 
it's getting out whatever I needed to get out like nine years ago. And then the last one is Valor. I have an old bottle of Valor. I have been, I stockpiled these and so I'm, I'm going through them, but Valor. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that drop of Valor, put it on your left wrist, cross over it with your right wrist and hold it for absorption, okay? Yes, all of this is true. When when the scripture says that you are um, the you're seated at the right hand of God, there's much significance in that. Okay, so that right wrist coming over that left wrist is significant. Now, I want to hear whether or not you guys start doing this, and if you do, I want to know what your feedback and your reports are. I I don't care if it is mental. It has been amazing since I've begun this program. Blessings.